day 12, and we're going to be reading uh, John 5, 1 through 15. So let's go ahead and read that. A man healed at the pool of Bethesda. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and the Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there, there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a, a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. And these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made well of whatever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there, been in that condition a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man said to him, Sir, I have no man to put me in the in the water when the water put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. On that day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him, Who was who was cured? It is a Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He said to them, He who made me well said to me, Take up your bed and walk. Then they asked him, Who was the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? But the one who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. Then the man departed and, and told, the, told the Jews that it was Jesus who made him well. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, it's interesting that you show us in your word, Lord, that you said that he healed him, that Jesus healed this man that had been waiting for 38 years. And he didn't say anything about your sins are forgiven or anything like that, but he just said, do you want to be made well? And then told him to get up. Thank you, Lord, that you, you sent Jesus to heal that man to show us all. Uh, sometimes you may take a long time, but you have your timing and your perfect will. We just have to trust. And he obeyed. So when the Lord tells us to do something, amazing things happen. I also see that he said, sin no more or less something worse come upon him so something was upon him when he healed him lord something worse can happen if he sins he says sin no more so that's a sign for us today to to not sin anymore so when you god help us and heal us and do something in our lives and we repent lord that you tell us the same thing you tell us not to sin no more let something worse happens there's no longer another sacrifice jesus is the ultimate sacrifice and if we accept that we know the full truth Open our eyes, Lord. Give us faith to accept healing and accept miracles like this, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you sent your Son to heal us and through your power, Lord. Thank you, God, for all that you do for us. Continue to increase our faith and give us understanding of this word and help us in repentance. So thank you, God, for all that you've shown us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.